Hi everyone, it's Misha. Today I'd like to play a little bit of Minecraft with you guys. I know that Minecraft ASMR videos uh, have been done, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'd like to show you um, a type of server that I don't think most people play. It's called 2B2T Spawn Anarchy. Uh, there's 37 people online right now. Let's join the server and see what it looks like. Turn off the chat. So, um, an anarchy server is a Minecraft server that's set up, but then has no rules on it. No rules about where you can build or where you can't build. No rules about PvP, about who can kill who. And this server was set up in the year 2010, and it has been going the same server, the same world, for four years. With people killing each other, and causing general anarchy and chaos. As you can see, it's created quite a strange, strange Minecraft world. And I think there's something really cool about it. You can see these just gigantic constructions that people have built. Just huge, pointless towers to the sky. I haven't actually seen a lot of people around here. Um, this is this is spawn. Oh, this is around the spawn point, but I've never <clears throat> I haven't been able to go very far. I'm not sure what type of things lay beyond the spawn area. <laughs> but who would want to leave this spawn area? Mm hmm. Tell you guys what I love about Minecraft. What I really love about Minecraft, um, and I've been playing it um, since it was in beta. I I love that this is a game that's that you play in a true wilderness. Um, for those of you who don't know, the worlds in Minecraft are generated uh, totally randomly. There are all sorts of types of worlds you could get. Uh, there's all sorts of different biomes, um, you know, rivers, mountains, forests. Can get all those sort of things, but where they're located, how they're shaped, is totally random. And once you create a world, you can explore it for effectively forever, um, because it just it just goes on and on and on and on. <coughs> There is a limit to the map, but you have to use mods to get there, and uh, it gets- it actually is pretty chaotic out there too. There's cool YouTube videos of that. Anyway, um, since the world is randomly generated, and completely modular, 
you can pick up any block and you can put down any block. It's it's essentially a microcosm of the wilderness of a world. Oh, there I go. In real life, it's it's a true wilderness to explore and to work in and to invent in. And you know, it's governed by rules the way real life is. But beyond that, no one is directly controlling the world itself. Is it for you? Um, other games, you know, even ones that are just magnificent to explore in, um, most of them are created by someone's hand. They're more like pieces of art than pieces of wilderness. Which is also very cool. But there's something special about Minecraft. At first I judged it <laughs> for its uh, Ter terrible, quote unquote, terrible graphics. But I've since come to see that simplifying something or adding restrictions to it just adds, uh, creates opportunities for creativity. And um, you can see that clearly enough. If you go on YouTube and look for cool Minecraft builds. It's like Legos. All the Legos, they have at least that one piece that can snap into another piece. Even if it's very small. That's like the Minecraft That makes any sense. Anyway, we seem to have hit an ocean, and I'm seeing all sorts of different places I can go here. There's, I could, I could try to make it up there. Looks like some sort of black platform in the sky, or there's this stone monument where you could get to the very top. Or I could go up here and see what's up here. I really want to go up to that platform, but I think the water it would take too long, and I'd get bored. So, or rather, I'd probably be worried about you guys getting bored. <laughs> so let's go up here. <coughs> Another brick block. Two. Two of them. Another bricks come from another world. You can get there through a portal. Uh, same with these. This is another rack. Which is a weird name. I see lots of uh, pumpkins over there. That's what those are. All right, let's try this. Let's just uh, let's just go for it. something like that form. Maybe people are trying to create... No, it looks like it was a wall. This entire server tells a story. I just can't... I just can't 
can't tell what the story is. It looks pretty post-apocalyptic. I mean, it's pretty much what the Earth would be like if we just bombed each other for four years and then there was no one left. It'd probably look, oh, it'd probably look pretty crazy. Let's hope it doesn't happen. I love chaotic things. If you guys have been paying attention to Twitch Plays Pokemon, it's, uh, it's this Pokemon game that's been streaming online for not very long right now. Um, anyway, the game itself takes inputs from a chat and um, th at one point, I think there were 45,000 people on this chat room all at the same time. And they were all punching commands into the chat all at once. And uh, but they're but they're progressing through the game this way. They're playing Pokemon, all of them, all together at once. But it's chaos because everyone's pressing different buttons at the same time. So it's a really interesting. Experiment into chaos, I'd say. <laughs> and there's a subreddit for the game, and the subreddit is awesome because they mostly, they, I mean, they, they talk about the game, they, they discuss strategy. And not only that, but <laughs> they've also split up into political factions, and uh, they even have, like, mythology. on things that have happened in the game. At one point, the, uh, the player was supposed to pick between two fossils, a helix fossil and a dome fossil, and there was a huge debate over which fossil should be picked, and it ended up being helix, and so a lot of people praise helix as as the deity and the guide of the player. <laughs> People draw comics. They, uh, they tell stories about it. They, they get really, really creative with what's happening. And all the while, uh, this chaos game is going on. Anyway, they could, they, they accidentally, uh, get rid of their Pokemon sometimes. Um, that's always very sad when that happens. <laughs> and they employ strategies trying to bring order to chaos. And yet there's other people who want even more chaos than the others. It's really fun. So you should check it out. Wow. I feel like I can see the universe here. <laughs> I'm so high in the air. Look at this place. Man, talk about a wilderness. <laughs> I guess even user-created places can be wildernesses if I've been living in anarchy for four years. <laughs> mm. The thing is, is that now I'm trapped down, trapped up here. I'm a 
above the clouds. That's what those are. I'm just, I'm just stuck. I would, uh, I would turn on the chat, but the people here are pretty vulgar. Um, and different servers just have different, um, uh, well, the different servers have different rules about behavior, and this one doesn't have any rules at all. So you can imagine what it's like. I've noticed that the most vulgar Minecraft players are children themselves. <laughs> I, oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> I didn't say my first swear word until I was like 20. <laughs> that, uh, that's probably not normal. <laughs> server and they're probably all really spaced out and uh and animals only spawn when there's people around so i might be wandering for a long time i guess i could eat zombie meat but i need a sword i need some trees is what i need are those trees die because I've come so far. <laughs> Let me know.